we get that, and I hate this term, the slippery slope. Where does it mm -hmm. end? And you end up just judge shopping until you find the judge who will go your way. Of course, we all want that, but practically that doesn't work. So judges are really loath to recuse themselves. There's gotta be a real impropriety. And the oddity is that the motion for a judge to recuse himself or herself goes to the judge that you're asking for the recusal. Right. It, it's, it's so, Barack, you have something to say? Yeah, yeah Olivia, I, I, look, I, I think that uh, this judge uh, should, of course, recuse himself. But the fact of the matter is that it's okay to file these motions to recuse themselves because, look, in California, you get to bounce a judge uh, at first blush without any reason whatsoever. And then you can bounce a judge for cause for any reason whatsoever as well. Um, and, and the problem for the Democrats is that by keeping on this judge, they have this problem that it's going to have the atmospherics, as I think Randy mentioned. It's a really important point. Uh, you cannot have this continue on while it looks like it's all biased. That's a big problem for the Democrats. If I were the Democrat Party, I would do what I could to pressure this judge to resign and say, look, fine, have it your way. Find the most milquetoast judge possible, and let's get started with this game already. That's what they should do. They're not doing it. It's very similar to the Fannie Willis matter, by the way. The, the fact that she's still on there, I think that's fantastic. It's going to look really bad for the Democrats and for Biden in particular because it will look like uh, they're ganging up against Trump, and they've got this real idiot. And I, I, I hesitate to use that word, but it's accurate. She's, she's not bright at all. And uh, it, it will go forward and it look very silly for the Democrats. You know, there's so many cases against Trump. The more he goes up in the polls, the more they go after him and the double standards, yeah. they are apparent. But Trump, of course, he's not backing down. I don't know where this guy gets all of this mental fortitude to just keep on going. The judge in his classified documents case, um, you know, is now being put through the, the ringer as well. Three hours ago, Trump came to her defense, posting on Truth Social, calling special counsel Jack Smith nasty and rude. Uh, Smith says that's a Judge Aileen Cannon's order to consider the documents as a personal property is, quote, fundamentally flawed. Trump is calling for Smith to be censured. Uh, you know, what do, what do you think, uh, Joe, what, what actions do you, you think should be taken here? Well, the, the case is, uh, you know, is, is now being litigated in court. All of these things are part of the hammer and tongs of what happens in any criminal case. It's elevated, of course, because it involves the former president of the United States. Let's remember, this grand jury's work uh, that created this indictment was all done in Washington, D.C. And then he was forced, he, Jack Smith, was forced to transfer the case to, Washington, to, uh, to Florida because he didn't have any venue in Washington. He's been manipulating the process since the very first moment he was chosen. The judge is only trying to figure out with her request for instructions, how she might handle a matter if the evidence evolves a certain way during the trial. Jack Smith is scared to death uh, that, uh, that uh, he's going to get some ruling that's going to harm his, his ability to do what he wants to do, which is convict Trump before the election. Uh, it's obvious what his goal is, and that's to interfere in the election. It's quite simple. And uh, Randy, final thoughts to you. What do you think? I think the judge bashing has to stop on both sides. This is unprecedented, and the word unprecedented has really become precedented. <laughs> but stop taking a dump on all of these judges. Let's get back to some civility, decorum. It's supposed to be a profession, and there's no place for all of this bashing. But Barack, yeah. uh, real quick to you. I know you're thinking, Judge Mershon, at the very least, look what his daughter, she's tied to, to Adam Schiff. I mean, clearly not a fan of President Trump. It's very bizarre, but look, in fairness to the judge, uh, look, I have siblings. All of them are very liberal. I'm, I'm the only conservative in the family, so whatever they believe, I don't necessarily <laughs> believe. But there's an appearance of conflict here, and there's an appearance of these millions of dollars. They're, they're not raising millions and millions of dollars for the Democrat Party, so it's very clumsy here. Uh, I don't see why he really needs to stay in this case. There are plenty of other very good and very neutral judges without this appearance of conflict. And, and to Randy's point, I think it was about judge bashing, look, I don't think people were bashing McAfee, for example, but I do think that it was appropriate with Engeron to bash him. He he clearly was very biased in the matter, and he was it came up with a result which was absolutely absurd. It was appropriate sometimes right, to say that things were wrong by this judge. Yeah, you got to call it out. He was mugging for the camera. Of course, we're talking about the civil fraud case here in New York City. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you.